My name is Brent Huff, and I play Steve Gordon in what many consider the greatest film ever made, The Nine Deaths of the Ninja. That's right, I said that. Uh, full disclosure, I've not seen the film since we shot it, so it's been a minute, but I will tell you a couple of stories that you might find interesting. Right before Nine Deaths of the Ninja, I was shooting a kind of bizarre, campy French film called The Perils of Gwendolyn, where I'm captured in a city of women. It could happen, you know. So uh, anyway, the actress who played Gwendolyn is Tawny Katane. And Tawny, at the time, just so happened to be dating a friend of mine, Michael Dudikoff, who you might know as the American Ninja. So anyway, after we finished uh, The Perils of Gwendolyn, my agent called me and said, uh, they want you for another campy film, and, and you'll go back to the Philippines. It's called Nine Deaths of the Ninja. I read the script, I go, man, this, this is really over the top. He goes, nah, you'll, go do it, you have fun. So I did, I had fun, I met a lot of great people. Uh, but the first day when I'm in the fitting, uh, I go up to the bad guy, uh, who, the guy who plays the bad guy in the film, and I said, oh, you gotta love these uh, names that they've given us. Uh, Abby the Cruel, that's, that's a hilarious name, over the top. I said, what's your real name? He goes, uh, Blackie Dammit. I said, what? Your real name's Blackie Dammit? He goes, yeah, Blackie Dammit. Anyway, Blackie obviously was a character and I, we, I hung out with him quite a bit. We'd go to dinner and he kept telling me about his son who's in a rock and roll band. Uh, I find out later that the band is the Red Hot Chili Peppers and his son is lead singer Anthony Kiedis. Now, just a few years ago, I was directing a film in Kansas City and uh, I walked by this hip girl that was on the set and she had this lunchbox and I did a double take. I looked at the lunchbox and I said, what's that? And she goes, oh, it's Nine Deaths of the Ninja. It was this bizarre, weird film that they did in the 80s. I said, you're not gonna believe this. I'm in that film. She looked at me like, yeah, right. To this day, I don't think she believed it. Um, anyway, so I said, why do you have that lunchbox? And she goes, you know what? The film was just fun. And that's why I did Nine Deaths of the Ninja. It was just fun.